Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about batteries. Yay, everybody loves to talk about batteries. Um, this is really, really important. And this goes hand in hand with the modification that I just made to the Fox body. Now, as you guys know, I went on a ramp, rant, rampage, carnage about boomers. Well, this is not about boomers. This is about uh, function over form and it's a big thing and some people may not like it but i got rid of the ashtray from my fox body the reason why i got rid of the ashtray was because a i don't smoke b i don't smoke c i don't smoke um but more importantly they tend to go bad mine was exhibiting the symptoms of beginning to go bad and i remembered my key purpose of this build for weekends to go get coffee and to go to the beach so I have a coffee cup where do I put it this is where LMR comes in with their center console add-on this is a great add-on for the Fox body and they also had another one that caught my attention one that has a USB charger and it also has another lighter for whatever accessory you want my problem with it was it came only in the color blue and um this car is red it's like baboon ass red it doesn't get more red than this this is literally a baboon's ass spread wide open now i did not want blue in the vehicle since that would be mix matching colors and I have a little bit of OCD, as you guys can tell from the knob adjustment video. Um, so I went ahead and I did my own modification. Let me go ahead and show it to you guys, and then we'll talk about why it's so important that maybe you should do it instead of buying the cigarette lighters from LMR. So inside the car, you guys will see that I already went ahead and I installed the cup holder add-on for the Fox body. You guys will also notice that I have one very, very small little dimple tear thing over here, but we're not going to look at that. You guys are going to notice that. That's right. I did my classic Mercedes-Benz upgrade where it tells me the voltage right there. And as you guys can see here, it's also waterproof. Even though this car is never going to get exposed to rain again, it has this as a protective case. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. 13.2 volts Raymond that's wrong this must be broken you can't have 13.2 volts that is not true not true especially since I am hooked up to the wall and it's plugged right into my car advantage once again for the new concepts battery terminals I have a permanent add-on spot for my battery tender and there's my battery tender down there so if we disconnect this we should be able to see the voltage drop down to the 12s let me go ahead and get this there we go completely disconnected and we're going to go into the car uh funny thing this cigarette lighter never turns off never and as you can see here the voltage has begun its descent it's going to 13.2 and it will keep dropping down to where it hovers to about 12 point something. This will never actually kill the battery of the vehicle. Uh, this never turns off. And you could get it to turn off if you wired a switch to it, but I didn't want to do that. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the process of installing one of these yourselves and what will you need to do. So if this is a modification that you guys are interested in making. What you need to do is first and foremost take off your trim bezel now if you guys have an aod which is an automatic on death um, this will just lift off right here pretty easily you'll just you just gotta work with it a little bit just gotta sneak around let me get the camera position so if you guys have an aod all you will need to do is just grab right around the edges right around here and then pull up Dada. 
Yes. How could you do it? That is working like he said he was. I am taking it out. Get you off. Ask mommy, what would you do it Okay. So now that this is out, you can be greeted with two Phillips heads here. One, two. And then back over here, if you guys have an armrest delete, this just lifts right up. And you got two more right there. So as you guys can see here, this is the cigarette lighter that originally um, went to the cigarette lighter. How do I put that? That made no sense. This is the plug that went to the cigarette lighter. And all I did was disconnect it. And this side went to the actual lighter. And this side went to a old school halogen bulb. So the black wire is going to be your ground. And then the blue wire is going to be your 12 volt. Both of them are 12 volts, so you could essentially put two of these puppies inside your car, or in my case, you could have one and then just have the other one as standby. So this just gets screwed into the vehicle um, by using a stepper bit, and you're literally just going to drill it in very carefully, and then once you get to the correct size, then this will literally just go in. And then those of you guys that don't know what a stepper bit is. It's this right here. Now, as you guys can see, you can see the point where I stopped right there, which is actually an inch and one eighth. So I use the stepper bit to work my way down all the way to an inch and one eighth. So that's the whole size that you'll need for the lighter that I installed into the car, which I'm gonna leave the link for it in the description. It'll screw on by itself. And this piece right there is probably going to set you back like $10. And they come in so many colors. So let's talk about the importance of being able to see the voltage. Being able to see that 12.8. That 12.8 means that there's a 100% chance that my vehicle has a good battery. As soon as the voltage begins to drop down to 12.35, that means you have a 60% chance that the vehicle is going to turn on. At 12.25, you're now down to 50% chance that it's going to turn on without a jump. At 12.06, your possibility of turning on the car is now 25%. So if you walk into the vehicle and this thing's down to 12, that means that you will need a jump. Don't even bother trying. Don't hurt the engine. Just get the jump back. And if this thing goes all the way down to... 11.9 that means your battery is toast and you need a new battery so it's really really nice to have this inside the vehicle now this I like a lot the fact that I can take this out especially if I spill something in there or my kid spills his juice take it out wash it and then put it back in and then I have good as new fun fact this is awesome this idea the ability to remove the cup holders is awesome i know some people gripe about it like oh well they're all loose gee captain obvious the reason they're loose is because if you spill something you want to be able to clean it right so that's what it's for yeah your juices all your little juice cups you put in here and then also you could hide something right here you could take your kids ninjago and hide it in here and then you'll never be able to find it isn't that right? Uh-huh. You know where your ninja legs are? No? They're gone? They're gone. It's gone. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I hope it taught you guys something about batteries and the importance of having a battery gauge on the vehicle. Yes, we can all see that little needle that points between good and bad, but that doesn't really tell us specific details. So with this digital one, I'll be able to know at all times the life of my battery and how well it is performing under load, which is really, really important because everybody keeps telling me that these Fox bodies have crappy alternators. So I'm actually gonna be able to read the live diagnostics and see how this amplifier is doing and what is it doing to the battery. Because if I'm not able to get enough voltage and my lights begin to dim out, I'm going to have to upgrade the alternator. 